Good morning, October 30th today, um, and uh, tomorrow we're we're going to be um, handing out these 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 bags of goodies um, uh, with the, the trunk and treat over at the, the ball diamond uh, that the town is doing. So we're pretty excited about that. And a bunch of the ladies came today and and uh, and uh, bagged up all the all the things because we're going to hand them out one one at a time. So. Um, anyways, if you want to help with that, um, you know, uh, get a hold of get a hold of us, and and um, we're not, I'm not really positive what time everything is yet, so uh, we got to figure that out. But uh, today we're going to be in uh, Jeremiah 20 and 21, and then Second Timothy 4, ending our reading in Timothy. Um, today we we we. I guess what really jumped out at me was uh, Jeremiah was getting frustrated. It sounds like with the Lord, um, and and he really didn't want to share anymore. He didn't want to say that because every time he he said something, you know, about God that you know he was he was kind of being persecuted, um, and we see that he was persecuted and thrown in in the stockades and in, in or in the. Um, uh, the locks, whatever, whatever that was again. I can't re- remember the name of it, but uh, but anyways, you know, he kept saying that. But then he says, the Lord, you know, puts a message on his heart that it just burns, and he needs to get it out. He needs to needs to tell people about it. And again, you got to remember, he's 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 sharing a sermon here, and that's why he got thrown in in the, in the stockades because he was uh, he was he was preaching and in 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 sharing. Um, and they, they got tired of it, and they threw him in there. Um, and he actually gets out, and he, he tells the one guy that, you know, your name's not going to be Pasfer, I think his name is. Uh, it's going to be terror. You're going to be, a, you know, your your family, you're going to be a terror to your family, to every everybody. Um, and it's not going to end well for you. Um, but, you know, he, he yeah, Jeremiah talks really strongly about, uh, um you know, I, I guess I, I'm hearing frustration. You know, as I'm reading this, yeah, that he's getting frustrated about the results of when he does share a sermon and the different things. So, um, anyways, uh, going into in the Second Timothy, um, it, it it really shows why it's so important to to do what we're doing, uh, being in the Word and and uh, allowing it to grow and and, and develop in us and. And, and to multiply and and you know same with uh, Jeremiah you know I mean he couldn't he couldn't keep it in and and to be honest with you the more we get the word of God in us um, and and right now anyways in this in, a, in our country we don't have to worry about being persecuted we don't have to worry about those kind of things so um, but Timothy here um, he says you know we need to be where Paul Paul's talking to Timothy he says preach the word be ready in season and out of season. Rebuke, correct, encourage uh, with great patience and teaching. For the time will come when people will not tolerate sound doctrine, but according to their own desires will multiply teachers for themselves because they have an, uh, an itch to hear what they want to hear. Um, and for me, that's, that's uh, again, you know, we need to be the the watch people. We need to be the people at the gate watching this and and seeing what's going on in our world. So you know, we can give testimony of Jesus Christ. And and this is here. This I mean, I mean, we're we're going to see that people want to hear what their itchy ears want to hear. Um, they don't want sound doctrine anymore. You know, they they want uh, uh, the social issues the way they want them. They want to they want to kind of design God's word around their lifestyle, the way that they want to live, or or how their friends are living, or uh, make excuses why you know they they can they can do whatever they want to do. Um, and and he says this. Paul says this. He says, "I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept my faith. There is reserved for me the crown of righteousness." which the Lord, the righteous judge, will give me on the day, and not only to me, but all those who, who love, uh, loved his, his appearing. Make every effort to come to me soon, because Demise uh, has deserted me, since he loved th- this present world and has gone to Thessalonica. Uh, Paul was being abandoned. He was, he was losing people, and he's feeling alone, just like Jeremiah did. 
Um, and to be honest with you, a lot of the martyrs, a lot of the people that are out in the mission field, uh, sometimes they feel really alone and kind of uh, stuck on their island. And that's, that's why it's so important for us to support the missionaries. But it's also important for us to have sound doctrine in our lives. You know, not, again, not, 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 not a legalistic view of God's word, but a realistic one. And, 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 and to me, that's where we need to be. Um, at least that's where I want to be. I, I, want, I, want, I want to follow God's word. I want to, I want to know what he has to tell me. And that's why I, I read scripture. That's why I, I, I study it and research and look at it. Um, and and, and I'm, I'm, kinda, I'm, I'm real simple, you know, as far as my, my, uh, my um, approach to, to, the, to, to God's word. Um, you know, I, I guess I, I'm not going to look at outside resources to tell me what God's word has to say. I'm going to allow the Holy Spirit to tell me, you know, how I'm supposed to live, how I'm do, supposed to do things. And, and, and that's through God's Word. You know, as we read it, uh, I believe the Holy Spirit just uh, allows us to understand what God's telling us. Again, don't go off into our own little tangents as far as our opinion and our thoughts, but be in, in sound doctrine, you know, to, to, to correct and rebuke. Um, but do it gently. Do it gently because, um, you know, it's hard to tell somebody something that's not correct unless if we can demonstrate it unless if we can live it first so um, verse 4 I want to go backwards here it says they will turn away from hearing the truth and will turn aside to miss but as for you exercise self-control in everything endure hardship do the work of the evangelist fulfill your ministry and that's what we're called to do, fulfill our ministry. So have a great day today. Have a great Friday. Look forward to the weekend. Um, again, um, the th- th- tomorrow night we're going to be handing candy out if you want to help with that. Uh, get a hold of us so we can let you know what time and everything. God bless you. Have a great weekend coming up, and I will see you Saturday morning.